I'm here at Seaview, where the Isle of Wight Hedgehog Hospital is, which for the last 20 years has been run by a woman called Jackie. And in that time, she's looked after about 600 hedgehogs that have been rescued from across the island by the Isle of Wight Hedgehog Charity. And two of them have mated and had triplets. So today I am going to be going inside and meeting the hoglets. We are just going to take a look at the mother and the hoglets and take them out of their hutch for the third time ever and try and find out if they are boys or girls. What are you going to name them, Jackie? No idea, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're on to R this year. I've <laughs> given up on cues yeah, already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's quite a little yeah, yeah. Come in. Just stroking. Yeah, little paws. Oh. Look at his little face. He's so sweet. Look at his little claws. She's got to be a lady. You reckon? Yeah. I think you're right. Oh, I don't know though, actually. Hang on. Mm. No, I'm not so sure. <laughs> okay. After all. No, I think it's another boy. Ooh, yeah. I think that's another boy. And that's another boy. I think so. Two so boys and a girl. Better put you back now. And where are you going to put them back into the wild? I don't know yet. It'll, it, it will depend. I've got a list of people who um, want hedgehogs in their garden, and I have to check out all the gardens and make sure they're safe, not near badgers sets. Um, not too near a main road, but they haven't got ponds that they might fall into. So there's a lot of things to check. So we're now getting more than we've had ever. Um, so whether it's still going to go up this year or not, we'll wait and see. Have you got the capacity for the hedgehogs? I've got another um, carer who helps, Mandy, and she's also got some cages at her house. So if I get full up, I've got a hedgehog hospital upstairs with six cages and an incubator and then Mandy's got the other incubator which you lot paid for bless you <laughs> yeah. well we only put the camera out initially to make sure that they weren't going to fight each other or bite each other and um, they seem to be circling and we thought oh, this is looking interesting and yes for me the worst thing is to see, is to see when they've been poisoned with um, slug pellets and there's a there's a the, the the compound of that's called metaldehyde, which is looking to be banned, but it causes them all sorts of awful distress. They they vomit, their heart rate races, um, they lose all coordination, and it's really sad to see. Iona Stewart Richardson reporting from Seaview for Isle of Wight Radio.